is out there. Good morning, good morning. Hello, my loves. Good morning. Joining us today for Prince and Princess Story Week. What? And as you can see, we dressed up for the occasion. And I hope you did. I hope you all did too, you princes and princesses out there. I hope you all dressed up as your very own prince or princess, whatever you kind of prince or princess you want to be, my loves. is sky's the limit. So Christina today, we made her a crown. It's not 24 carats, <laughs> but it has her favorite carrots on the crowd today. She has her magic wand because she's super excited. What? And as you can see, Miss Mel has her crowd today. And I am a princess scientist. I have my safety goggles on for when I do my science projects because this is Miss Mel's version and Miss Christina's version of their, her and her very own princess. You remember what Miss Mel said? You could be any kind of princess you want to be, my loves. So today, we are going to read Princess in Training. What? This is one of Miss Mel and Christina's favorite, absolute favorite princess stories. Because the girl in our princess story, the gal in our princess story, she is whatever princess she wants to be. She makes her own path. And this is really cool. And it's by Tammy Sawyer <clears throat> and illustrated by Joe Berger. So let's dive into our princess in training story with our 24 karat. <laughs> What? And our wonderful princess and scientist princess story time. And remember, my loves, we want to see your photos of the princess you are today, prince or princess, in our comment section. So if you have some awesome photos to share, please share. Miss Mel wants to see you in your prince or princess gear today. And so does Christina. We want to see what you dressed up as, your very own kind of princess. All right, my loves. You know what? I have to share this with all the parents out there. Miss Mel's going to, after I make dinner tonight, Miss Mel's going to vacuum with the princess crown and the safety goggles. I think it's awesome. <laughs> all right, my loves. Princess in training. Now, our princess lives in a kingdom. And her name is Viola. Viola Louise Hassenpfeffer. Yes, I said it. Viola Louise Hassenpfeffer was not your ordinary princess. No, she was not. She spent her time karate chopping, hi -ya! diving into the moat when she could, and skateboarding up and down the drawbridge. Whoa, dude, zoom, 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 zoom. Now, the kingdom was beside itself with her antics. You're supposed to be prim and proper, said the king. You're supposed to be proper, said the queen. Now, Princess Viola stared at her tiara. She was supposed to royally fit in. She wanted to, but how would she ever get this princess thing right? How would she ever do it? Then, one day, she received a royal letter. Oh, is a royal letter up there? Let's see what it says. Dear Viola Louise Hessenpfeffer, do you want to polish your princess skills? Camp Princess will teach you to wave, walk, and waltz just like the royalty should. The day is concludes with a royal ball. Oh my goodness, enroll now so you can be the dazzling part of the kingdom. Sincerely, Madam Gertrude, director of Camp Princess. Oh my goodness, Viola said. She grinned ear to ear. She said, oh, the darling of the kingdom. She whooshed off to give Camp Princess a try. Now welcome to Camp Princess, ladies, said Madam Gertrude. Let's begin with learning the royal wave. Can we all wave together? It goes like this, the royal wave. Yes, hello, hello, something speaks hello. The princess worked on good posture. Stand up straight. Practice proper elbow placement, never on the tables. And added the customary turn of the wrist. <clears throat> and Princess Viola's wave was very nice. She thought 
but she could use a little oomph in her way. So all of a sudden, her karate chop went, Hiya! Viola Louise Heffenpfeffer, called her teacher. Right here does not karate chop. She ducked behind all the updos. Updos are the do's. The hairdos. <clears throat> Lesson, said Madame Gertrude as a princess, is the frills of fashion. And the princess tried all gown after gown and chose the right one and learned how to walk with flair. Shall we walk with our presence with flair? Here we go. Christina, take the runway. Here we are. Look at that. Look at how she walks. Look at that wave. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Princess Viola was perfectly lovely. But she saw the moat, and when she saw the moat, her plunk. She loved to swim. Viola Louise Hassan her, called her teacher. Royalty does not dive into the moat. Sorry, Viola emptied her purse of water. said Madame Gertrude, dance lessons, the royal ball. The princess waltzed in circles and lines all around the room. Show us the waltz, Christina. Oh, 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 lovely, lovely, lovely. Princess Viola was determined to dazzle, but oh, she knew she had to go boarding on this cool plank, so she went zip, zoom, zoom. Oh, no, no, oh, my goodness, what? Viola Louise. Hassan Pfeffer, called her teacher. Royalty does not, does not skateboard on the royal ball floor. Phooey, Royola threw down her boa. And she said, I don't like this. She felt very sad because she didn't feel like she fit in. She was a different kind of princess, and that's okay. We need to tell her that's okay. She could be a whatever princess she wants. Right, Christina? Right, everybody? Viola's day at Camp Princess was nearly over, and she was a royal failure. But then the trumpet sounded. <laughs> you could do everything with a toilet paper roll or the paper towel roll. <laughs> a big royal bash band. Everyone loved it. Every princess gasped from excitement. Go on, said Madame Gertrude. Don't be shy. Dance the waltz, my loves. But, but, said Princess Viola. But what? Oh, no. There's a big green dragon behind you. What? And he looks hungry. so dizzy. <gasps> Princess Viola was a royal hero. She saved the day with her awesome princess skills. The other princesses 
crowded around her. Well done, Viola. Great job, Viola. And they all cheered. Let's do a hip, hip, hooray three times. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Lovely. Teach us, Viola, said all the princesses at the princess school. Teach us how to be your kind of princess. And Viola did. Is that not cool or what? It's so awesome. Princess Viola wasn't prim. She wasn't proper. But she was the darling of her kingdom anyway because she was her very own cool, unique, different princess. What? You go, Viola. You go, girl. That's awesome. What? Was that a super cool story or what? Christina, did you like that story? Did you all like that story too? What? She was amazing. Viola saved the day because of her uniqueness and differences and who she was. She never gave that up, my love. She kept it always in her heart. And you knew through our story, at the end of our story, everyone wanted to learn things just like her. So that was really cool. <clears throat> never give up that, those parts of you that make you unique and different, my loves. They make you you and who you are. You share that beauty. And my loves, today, Miss Nilla has a couple of cool links for you. And when I say cool, I mean it literally because we have our first link, right, Christina? We had fun making these. The Disney Frozen Jello Cubes. Now, this is so cool. You can make these awesome Disney Frozen Jello ice cubes. And there's a link in here to link you to some other cool princess activities. And these are really cool to make because it's hot. It's hot. And these are so super cool to eat, and they're so chill. They're wonderful. So Miss Mel and Christina have the link for you up there with all the instructions and the few ingredients that are needed to make it. Very few ingredients are needed to make it. And you can have a fun time stacking these awesome frozen jello ice cubes, Disney frozen jello ice cubes, and make your own frozen castle with them before you eat them. What? That's amazing. And Miss Mel and Christina put in our link today up top. And check on that link because you can order any of these books at any of the Delaware County libraries for curbside pickup and check our site for them because they are awesome. It's a link that tells you about 21 multicultural fairy tales. And they are so super cool. All the, A lot of them are Miss Mel's favorites. I love them all. So check those out, my loves. Check our catalog for them. See if we have them or any other library across Delaware County. Order them for curbside pickup. Our process is right on our website, marthalibrary.org. Check it out. All right, my loves. We'll see you tomorrow. Hope you enjoy Princess Story. I want to see your photos. Remember, if you just turned it in, share your photos of what princess you are and what princess you are that makes you unique and different as your kind of princess. All right, my love, see you tomorrow for our another most awesome princess week. And Miss Mel's going to be another different kind of princess. What? Have a great day, my loves. Love you all. See you tomorrow.